Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Amy Lizzie. This is Heavenly Holy Vision with Lydia. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. It's a new day in the presence of the Lord and I'm so, so excited. Hallelujah. Thank you to all those of you who've been tuning into this channel. Thank you for your subscription. If you've already subscribed, why not consider subscribing once again? Hallelujah. Yes, thank you for, for returning subscribers. Thank you so much for returning. Thank you for your patience, for your comments, for your sharing, for your support. May the Almighty God richly, richly bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the works of your hands. When I woke up this morning, I was meeting the Lord said, bring it, bring it on, bring it forward. Bring it to the table. Uh, bring it to the table. Bring it on. Bring it forward. I was like asking God, what am I supposed to bring forward? Is it my praises, my worship, my thanksgiving? What is it that I'm supposed to bring forward? Lord, because as it is right now, I am really praising you. I'm really worshiping you. How else do you want me to do this? <laughs> so I was speaking to God. Because he said, bring it on. I was like, Lord, but I'm really, I'm here right now in front before you. And I'm giving you my time, my everything. The Lord said, there is something that you need to bring before me. And he said, the works of your hands. Ah, Mali, Sharabosha. The works of your hands. He said, I should tell someone this moment that the works of your hands are supposed to be blessed right now. Whatever it is that you are doing. Perhaps you've been stagnant for a very long time or for a while. Perhaps you've lost ideas. Perhaps you you lack resources. Perhaps you've been looking for ways on how to improve on the works of your hands. Yes, some of you have been looking for ways on how to improve, how to improve on your businesses or your purposes. But it feels like you're you're stuck somewhere. It's just it feels like you are blocked somewhere or you you cannot there is no forward movement it feels like you're limited in some in some ways yes so some of you actually place limitation in front of you so much that you can't even look beyond what you're supposed to expand god said most of you have prayed for that business expansion for that project expansion whatever that you've prayed for expansion this is the time for him to step in right now and bless it it's not like he's stepping into it to bless it it is already blessed but it's just for you to recognize that the grace of expansion is in the atmosphere glory be to god the grace of expansion is in the atmosphere just in case you're not focusing on this area of your life uh, of your business trying to expand it the Lord said, please, it's time for you to bring this right now to memory and realizing that this is the time for you to expand whatever it is that you wish to expand. And the little effort that you put into it right now is going to, is going to produce result. The little effort that you put into expanding whatever it is you want to expand is going to yield plenty of result. Take God's word for it in the name of Jesus. There is that grace for expansion right now in the spirit. You can't afford to miss this season of expansion. Our God is a God of expansion. He blesses our the works of our hands when the, when when the, when the time is right. And He's saying this is the time for Him to bless the works of your hands. You've done your best. You've put in your best, your resources, your money, your time, your effort, and everything. And this is the time for Him to step in all by Himself to bless it. He said, "Bring it to the table." I heard God say, bring it to the table. At first, I was confused about what I was supposed to bring to the table. And God said, mm, that business, that career, that vision, that purpose is what you're supposed to bring right now to the table. So, beloved, please bring it right now to the table. As I'm speaking to you right now, and I know that some things that you ought to expand are dropping in your thoughts. And the Lord said, please hold the thoughts. Hold the thought. If that's what you want to expand, just hold the thought as you're listening to me this moment. And the grace of expansion is going to be translated, trans, you know, it's going to be, be uh, uh, transmitted into it and it shall expand in the name of Jesus because the grace right now for expansion is very, very much available. Deuteronomy 27, 28 verse 12. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. It says, The Lord will open the heavens the storehouse of his bounty to send rain on your land 
in season and to bless all the works of your hands. You will lead, you will lend to many nations, but you will borrow from none. This is a time that God's about to, God is opening his tall gates of heavens and is pouring down blessings upon you. And your blessings are not, not just coming down to you, but they are falling in pleasant places. Your blessings are falling right now in good places, in fertile ground, and you know, it's producing results. There's expansion this moment. You shall have more than enough, so much that you're not only going to be taking care of yourself, but you're going to be taking care of others, and of course, lending to many, but being able, but not borrowing from anybody because you are, you shall be self-sufficient. Yes, it's a sin that God's blessing so much that you shall be self-sufficient in Jesus' mighty name. Many shall come towards you to borrow from you because they, they can see that you're doing great. They will literally see that you're doing well. Yes, but then you have to protect yourself as well. Glory to God because the canker worms, the swami locals, they are always there but looking for 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 wait for for a place where they can like you know eat up your whatever or destroy. But the Lord your God shall preserve you. The Lord your God shall preserve you because you shall be filled with wisdom to take care of that which God is blessing you with. The Lord said that He needs to bless this is because you've come into maturity. You know how you you now you you now know how to handle this bigger blessing that He's about to give to you. Yes, He will not just bless you because He want to bless you. Is blessing because he knows that you're ready to, to handle this this blessing. You're ready to handle this great great expansion that is coming forth, coming towards you. Glory be to God. I'm so very much excited about somebody because your life is about to change for the better. You've been there, turning around. It's been like your life has been in in, cycle, in, in circle, moving in circle. That like you're not going forward. You're not like you're just in one position. But Lord said, no. Um, listen, my son, my daughter. Mm, 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 I don't want to see you here anymore. You've overstayed your welcome in this position. You've over you've overstayed your welcome in this place. It's time for you to move and move right now, and expand beyond and expand upward. Hallelujah! Glory to God. You're about to receive and experience the height, the depth, the length, the width of God's blessings in your life, and you shall you shall be so happy. Glory to God. And what is coming towards you shall add no sorrow. It shall give you joy and fulfillment because it's coming straight from the Lord. It is coming straight from the Lord. Bring it to the table. Whatever it is that you've got going, it's time for you to bring it right now to the table. Put it on the table. When God says put it on the table, it means that you should bring it to memory. Bring it to focus. Bring that idea. Meditate upon that idea. Meditate upon it. Think of ways on how to, to expand it. Because God's not going to be coming down to expand. But the more you think about it, the more, the more God's, going to, God's going to be giving you those ideas on how to expand it. And when you put those ideas into, into, into place, you're going to be seeing the result. Hallelujah. Someone is not foolish this season. Someone is very smart to take advantage of the work of the Spirit this season. Being that expansion. Yes, to bring joy in your heart. To bring, you know, it's a it's a good feeling, lover, when you when you, when you when you are expanding. Hallelujah. So this is the time. Go ahead and do great and mighty things. God bless you so much. I have been Amy Lady. Faith is our vehicle. And love is our strength. See you in the next, in the next video. Hallelujah.